ไปด้วยเดมิทเชมคุณไม่สามารถโถ่ snowball ในที่นี้ไม่ใช่ snowball เพราะมันแค่ only a dusting right look at that there's a pebble in there you could have killed me oh don't be such a baby yeah who's a little girl now <laughs> I have no feeling in my fingers or penis, but I think it was worth it. Oh. Ah! Um, I was laying on the ground, defenseless, and uh, he just kept throwing him until he exhausted himself. And uh, then, how about icing it? LOL, Dwight. To shake somebody's hand and defibrillate them. <laughs> I even have a catchphrase. You've been defibrillated. <laughs> hey, Toby. Hey. Put her there. What? Put her there. Let's just let bygones be bygones. Why are you <laughs> smiling, laughing? I'm just. Weird. I'm just excited about Jake. Be friends. Okay. What was that? Oh, come on. Oh. God. No. Okay. okay. Who put my calculator in jello? Good one. But uh, seriously. Guys, who did this? Seriously, guys. Who did this? I need to know who put my calculator in Jello, or I'm gonna lose my freaking mind! Oh, yeah. This will be easy. So just like rearrange the buttons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like when he presses door closed, the doors open, or he presses lobby, it goes to the third floor, stuff like that. Can you do that? Yeah. Let me take a look at the circus board. Dwight is about to get so pammed. Hey, did you SMS text message me? Yeah, I wanted to show you something in the lobby. Uh, come on. Okay, that's weird. Hmm. Just hitting door closed. What? There we go. What? Good. Is this elevator going up? Hmm? Hey, the elevator's just obeying us! Oh, okay, okay. We are stuck. We are um... stuck. Hank, Hank, can you hear us? Oh my god, okay. okay Emergency just, protocol. Just, um, just calm down. Pam, try and pry open those front doors. Immediately. I don't. Use your talons! Pry them open! <laughs> okay, why? Oh my god! Well, don't look, freak! Dwight, what are you doing? What? We've only been in here for like two seconds. I got 56 ounces of fluid in my bladder, and we have to establish a pee corner. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Michael, since it is your 15th anniversary at the company, I thought it might be appropriate to begin the festivities with a 15-minute round of applause. I like it. Followed by a 15-minute moment of silence. I don't know. Is it classy enough? Jim. Enough with the classy, okay? Dwight, I'm very sorry that my wearing a tuxedo is annoying you. Last week, Dwight sent out a memo about the dress code. So this is me showing him that I'm taking it very seriously. Yes. Really wish you would have told me the new boss was coming today. What? No, I don't want to make everybody nervous. Nope, I mean, I could have brought a change of clothes, or... You look dynamite. What are you talking about? Very slick. Okay, we got the fish. Why are you wearing a tuxedo? I didn't think you'd notice. <laughs> uh, it's funny, actually, there's uh, another salesman out here, Dwight Schrute. He sent out this memo, as he always does, and uh, it was about professionalism in the workplace, and of course he singled me out. So I just had to mess with him. Uh... Oh, you'd understand it if you read the memo, which I should probably get you. There's probably one in the drawer. Uh, it was pretty crazy. But 
not more crazy than wearing a tux at right. work. I grant you that. Okay. So I'm gonna. Uh, Your name is Jim. Jim, Jim. Albert. Yep. So okay. just gonna let you get back to it. So. He just had to wear his tux today. I thought that'd be funny. Took him 40 minutes to get ready. Um, large tuna. Have you seen my cell phone device? No. Someone is calling right now. There is a call. Excuse me. And I'm also sorry that a lot of people here for some reason think it's funny to steal someone's personal property and hide it from them. Here's a little news flash. It's not funny. In fact, it's pretty freaking unfunny. Oh. 